It wouldn't be long before Mitch McConnell faced a test of just how far he would go to get what he wanted. We are going to drain the swamp of corruption in Washington, D.C. Whether to support a Republican presidential candidate he didn't like. We are led by very, very stupid people. He faces a horrible dilemma. To say that Trump was not um, McConnell's cup of tea would be an understatement of the first order. Build a wall. Everything that Trump voiced and stood for, McConnell, I think, had very little respect for. 2016 rolls around, Donald Trump steamrolls the entire field with a campaign that was often outright racist. When Mexico sends its people, they're bringing drugs, they're bringing crime, they're rapists, the total and complete shutdown of Muslims entering the United States. McConnell, once an advocate of civil rights, made a shrewd calculation to remain silent. I'm going to continue to avoid uh, weighing in on the presidential contest at this point. Mitch McConnell understood Trump's lies, and he understood the coarseness and the vulgarity and the, the general seeminess of it all. He is repulsed by the amateurism. He has the craftsman's dislike of the charlatan. But as he had with Reagan, McConnell sensed also where the GOP was headed. He knew he needed Trump. If the court was that important to him, he wanted to make sure that he had someone he could influence in terms of Supreme Court appointments. And on that sad day when we lost Justice Scalia, I made another pledge that Obama would not fill this seat. That honor will go to Donald Trump next year. He sees what is needed to hold on to power, and he made the choice. It's his choice. He's the person who has to sleep with it. Mind you, in, in 2016, Donald Trump was not the figure that he is today. He was not inevitable. Trump's election and McConnell's support was a moment with far-reaching consequences. Donald Trump will be the 45th president of the United States. There was a lot of skepticism on the right of what Donald Trump was. And holding that Supreme Court seat open, just as a political matter, reminded Republicans, we can't leave to chance that Hillary Clinton might put a liberal on the court. If Scalia had not died then, and certainly if McConnell had not said what he did, Trump would not have been elected. One of the interesting caroms of politics is that Mitch McConnell brought about the election of someone who in almost every particular he deplored.